Hi, thank you for your time today. My name is Ramon Panero and I'm the Vice President of Products and Services here at BlackBerry Ad Hoc. Today we're going to talk about how would your organization communicate when the internal networks and communication channels have been compromised. Today we're going to talk about the problem, how many of these cyber breaches are affecting the way in which you communicate and collaborate as these incidents unfold with your employees, with your supply chains and other stakeholders in your organization. Our observations about these trends and how they're affecting organizations just like yours. How to define an effective communication plan as an extension of your overall incident response plan. Seeing that plan of action and using one tool to plan, mitigate, and communicate during this times of crisis. The threat is very real. The increase of cybercrime is up 600% during the pandemic. Many organizations have experienced endpoint attacks or attacks to their infrastructure. Alarmingly, 29% of those organizations don't even have a way to communicate or collaborate during an emergency such as a cyber attack. What we saw in the high profile Uber breach is that this attacker was able to not only compromise their network and infrastructure, but also internal communication systems. Having an internal communication system brought down limited their way in which to communicate with those employees to provide advisories and guidance. It also impacted the people around them by not having a secure out of band and off network means to securely collaborate as the incident unfolded. Leadership also recognizes these challenges. At the highest levels of government, the current administration has issued Executive Order 14028 that establishes a requirement for agencies to increase the information that they secure and share so that can, they can collaborate to protect data privacy and increase overall IT security. There's also serious consequences to these disruptions. Not only is there productivity loss and a negative impact on morale when these cyber attacks occur, but there's also an impact to the bottom line. $3.9 million is the average price for an IT outage or supply chain disruption. $540,000 for infrastructure and cyber attacks on average. There's a loss of revenue that impacts the bottom line. Having a system and plan is key to avoiding these types of disruptions. During the pandemic, many organizations planned for and effectively deployed communication systems given the threats that they were dealing with, specifically non-occupational diseases like COVID-19, ensuring that uh, remote workers were secured and they were communicating, collaborating safely and securely, providing travel advisories uh, during the COVID so that employees knew that they were traveling into hotspots and what to do given the duty of care that the employer has to the employee. But now, as we turn the corner on the pandemic, we see that the increase of attention and concern around cyber attacks and data breaches are rising. Now, while many organizations realized that they needed a way to collaborate and communicate during the pandemic and successfully deployed systems to do so, they still didn't have a system to apply when cyber attacks occurred. That meant that the management teams, uh, individual contributors, other stakeholders within the organization had no way to communicate when those systems were breached. Many organizations, just like Uber, have a robust incident response plan to deal with those cyber attacks and breaches when they occur. However, defining an effective communication plan as an extension of those incident response plans is key. Many of those incident response plans do not consider the effectiveness and importance of communicating to the overall employee base, to the supply chain, to other organizations who may be able to provide mutual aid under these circumstances. They also don't exercise the communication plan. That means that while they may do a desktop review of their incident response plan, also exercising how they're going to communicate with their employees at large with executive leadership and key stakeholders are typically skipped or not even considered. The communication plan should be defined and exercised uh, often so that it builds trust and it's ingrained within the overall employee base. Before the incident, you have to prepare your templatized messages and identify key people to execute those messages when the situation starts to unfold. During that incident, those same key people will add this specific situational awareness to those messages so that they are delivered to the right people at the right time. 
They must also monitor the responses and ensure that those follow-up messages are sent so that you can provide effective advisories and notices on what to do and what not to do. For example, as part of the breach, your incident response plan calls for you to shut down all ingress into your network. You may shut down email, all corporate ingress into the organization. Well, you certainly want to provide that advisory out of band and securely to your employee base so they know what to expect when email is shut down. Don't inundate the help desk letting us know that email is shut down. After the incident, you have to communicate with employees. Let them know the impact of the incident. Discuss these business continuity measures and obtain feedback from the people who are the most impacted. Fine tune your incident response plan and as an extension, again, your communication plan so that it's effective and ensures that the right information is reaching the right people at the right time. Now, if we walk through a scenario, it really begins with the sensor detection where an indication of compromise may be detected, in this case, by science optics. Once it's detected, a security analyst looks within their seam and verifies that it's an actual event. They're able to activate their incident response plan that's incorporated into the ad hoc platform. And that first step of that incident response plan calls for real-time communication with the security operations team, their incident response team, that is their red team, and executive leadership as they move to orchestrate the overall response to the situation. They also start to send out employee notifications, alerting users with advisories and guidance on what to do and what not to do, such as post the situation to social media. In addition to that, they can securely share information outside of their organization, perhaps with law enforcement or other agencies that they know may be impacted by the same breach. This single platform to handle the detection, your incident response plans, that response plan activation, the real-time communication, the ability to alert and notify and have two-way communication with your employees, and to federate your information securely outside of your organizations to those in your supply chain or other organizations that may be able to help you is a key differentiator for the BlackBerry Ad Hoc platform. Now let's bring it all together. Organizations certainly realize that they need to send timely and secure, reliable messages when their internal tools are compromised. BlackBerry is the only technology company to bring best-in-class cyber security tools and best-in-class secure communication tools together. The importance of having a communication plan as an extension of your overall incident response plan is key. It's equally as important to have the most secure, off-network, out-of-band, cloud-based secure communication system in the world. Please call us to help build and evaluate your current plans Thank you for your time today. My name is Ramon Panero.